Sorry I'm late with this video, I just got done watching the Texans-Titans game, and uh, it was pretty fun, so I do not regret watching that. Um, anyways, let's get into it. The Saints beat the living crap out of the Panthers, but we fall short of the one seed, and we needed the Bears and Seahawks to win. Seahawks won, but unfortunately, the Bears are the Bears, and they lose to the Packers. Although I um, cannot wait to hear some of them say the referees were, you know, the reason they lost because they tend to do that with the Packers. But And yes, I know the Packers do tend to get some benefit with the refs, but yeah, no, no. I know the Bears fans won't actually um, complain about the refs. I was just making a terrible joke. Okay, anyways. So, Bears lose, but... Bears aren't out of the playoffs because, thanks to the Cardinals losing, the Bears clinched the seventh seed that the NFL added this year. And thanks to the fact that the seventh seed's added, the second seed doesn't get the bye week this year. So, it'll be Saints-Bears, and I really hope we beat them again. Last time, it was an overtime thriller, but both teams are different now. You know, Bears have Mitchell Trubisky starting. We uh, didn't have our top targets available, and it feels like the defense has improved ever since the Bears game. And, you know, Drew Brees is starting to get in rhythm again. So, yeah, that, you know, hopefully it's different in a way we beat them by at least 10. And,. We get Michael Thomas and Deontay Harris back next week, so I'm excited for that. Um, also, I want to give a huge shout-out to Ty Montgomery today, because um, he may not have played as good as Kamara, but he did a pretty solid job at the running back position today. He hasn't played in a while as a starter, and he did well. So I salute him for uh, the way he played today. And speaking of Kamara, um, so... He's probably going to still be out for the next game, but it actually depends on when the NFL schedules things. Because um, he's in the 10-day quarantine, basically. And that ends on Sunday, and he could be eligible to return on Sunday. But if the NFL schedules us to play on Saturday, it's not going to happen. And with the other running backs, too, like Latavius Murray, Dwayne Washington. But... You know, it, I just saw something like if, no matter who read the NFL schedules, I feel like both fans will say it's rigged because the NFL will, you know, force the Bears to face Kamara and then the, and then the NFL will force the Saints to not have Kamara. Neither fans are going to be pleased, probably. At least the crazy ones. But I'm not really going to get all upset about that. We just got to play well. We got our top offensive player back in Michael Thomas. And yes, I know he doesn't have a touchdown this year, but uh, I'm not going to get into it why that is. But, you know, I'm excited to have him back. And the secondary was pretty depleted today, but they did their jobs. Marshawn Lattimore got a pick. Grant Haley got a pick. Malcolm Jenkins got a pick. Even P.J. Williams got a pick. It was a good day for the same secondary, and the defense did well against Teddy Bridgewater and P.J. Walker, and uh, Tommy Stevens even played a snap at quarterback. So, yeah, I'm uh, very pleased with the performance today, heading into uh, next week. Of course, the Bears are a better team than the Panthers, but, um, you know, just we just got to beat them. You know, I don't want to lose in a wild card again like we did last year. All right, let's beat the Bears and go uh, win the Super Bowl for true. Uh, see y'all later. Go Saints.